Hello, 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 and happy Friday the 13th to all of my sea goats. Happy Mercury retrograde in Gemini. We are very, very close to the next full moon in Scorpio. So many wonderful things are happening. Hopefully, you all are not allowing energies around you to drain you. So I need you all to really, really, really stay focused. 13 reduces to the number four, so we're going to get into it because that's a pretty exciting number. Yes, let's go. Let's go. The energy has already been cleared, Capricorn, so let's see what these cards have to say. What do these cards have to say? I love uh, pulling cards because I have every sign in my birth chart, so when I pull cards, I'm speaking to myself as well. So let's see what these cards have to say. Well, all right now, wait a second now. What is going on, Capricorns? Wait a second. What is? I love this. I love, love, love this. All right. So you have a lot of major things that's happening in your lives, Capricorn. Um, we have the Chariot card. We have the Magician card. This is really about balance. This is about you balancing out your life, doing things that you love to do. Here we have the Hierophant card. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We also have the strength card. Uh-huh. We have the full card. We have the high priestess card. Yes. Okay. So these are all major arcanas letting me know that some major situations are happening in your lives right now. You all are a very loyal sign. You're a very hardworking sign. You all are team players. You're very ambitious. You're classy. You're responsible. Your self-discipline, self-control, you will are great managers of people, money, and time, and you will are a very creative sign, right? So this is where I'm seeing creativity is just on full blast. I love it, love it, love it. So some of you all, go check your birth chart, because some of you all may have cancer in your charts. I see somebody being highly intuitive and really tapping into their gifts here, because I'm seeing the high priestess moon energy which is tapped into your intuition, your feelings, your subconscious habits, moods, emotions. I'm seeing Mercury here, which again, we are, Mercury is currently retrograde, but I'm seeing a fresh new start and a new beginning and somebody tapping into that strength that they probably didn't even realize they had. And I'm seeing Hierophant card, which is attached to Taurus. So we have Taurus, Leo, Uranus, Mercury, Cancer, and the moon. So there's a lot of things working in your favor. So I need you all to start paying attention to your intuition. The reason why the number four is so powerful, and we know all numbers are powerful, right Capricorns? But the number four actually symbolizes the real reason for all of our lives here on earth. We are divine beings of light having a human experience. And it also means that we are also uh, connected through the triad of creation to source, right? Triad of creation we know is the number 369. I'll teach about that on the other channel. Um, we're connected to the creator, right? We're to source, to most high, right? You know how I always say that we are God in human form. We are not other people's gods. We are each other's guides, right? So you're not your children's God. You're not your parents' God. You're not your neighbor's God. You're not your spouse's God. I need to really kind of break it down because sometimes that's why people, they they know they're not your God. So they have to use manipulate manipulative tactics in order to get you to do what they want you to do, right? So I'm here to help you all learn how to deliver yourselves from that. So number four also means, and we're talking about the number 13. Like I said, today is Friday the 13th. And I know what that means for some people. They just automatically go into low vibration mode. Oh my God because of a movie, because of whatever. But I'm here to help you all to raise your vibrations about the significance of the number four. Number four also means that we are reflectors of the love of God. And the number four invites us to remember we are members of one big galactic family. So number four means living a clean, organized environment. And it's very important to you to stay balanced and healthy. It governs feng shui. Um, the art of keeping your physical environment energetically clear and positive so that you are sure that your home and so that you love going home and that you love being in your workspace, right? 
So, so clarity of mind thrives when you are clear in your life. So four is a very powerful number. So when you think of Friday the 13th, that's why I said happy Friday the 13th, because a lot of people are like, oh my God, it's Friday. I can't do this. I can't do that. I get so nervous. Turn off the TV. Stop looking at low vibration energy. Because remember, we're about to head into a new phase, into a new cycle. So that can be draining all unto itself. But I see somebody intuition becoming extremely heightened. I'm also seeing, I'm also seeing somebody, even the thought of possibly getting married, if you're not already uh, romantically linked with somebody, I see that opening up a fresh new start, new beginning. Um, I'm also seeing somebody possibly going into business with somebody and your intuition is telling you, I'm about to be married to somebody in some way, shape, form or fashion, whether it's romantically linked or it's in business, I can feel it. I, I see that happening, right? I feeling I see somebody feeling a lot more ground rooted and grounded. Like I said, number four is connected to the earth. Um, I see met I see messages coming through to somebody, but because Mercury is retrograde, people automatically think that the messages coming through are garbled. Actually, even though we know that Mercury being retrograde you know, typically people say don't, don't, um, travel, but I mean, maybe the airlines and the train stations and train, you know, subways didn't get that memo, right? Cause you don't see them stopping their business because mercury is retrograde. So a bit of, a, a bit of being grounded and just looking around you. I don't even want to say common sense because it's not common to everybody. So I don't even want to, to make anybody feel like, oh yeah, I'm not even thinking with, because it's not common to everybody, especially if you're constantly being fed negativity, right? So it's not common sense. But again, it's really taking the time to say, hold on, let me just, let me just look around me. Okay. The train stations haven't stopped. Um, the planes are still flying in the air. Uh, those kind of things, but it really is about balancing out your own energy, uh, Capricorn and recognizing there are some people who are terrified when planets go retrograde. They really are. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. You don't have to be terrified. I see a fresh new start, a new beginning, somebody grabbing some amethyst, somebody feeling healed. You see this color purple again here, somebody feeling healed, somebody feeling very positive, high frequency, high vibrational, balanced out, you know, like maybe, um, just every area in your life feels balanced. Like, um, like I said, let's see what else we have here. The queen of swords, somebody is starting to sit on their, take their rightful place back on their throne. And this could be a king or queen really, because this is divine masculine energy to your divine feminine by default. This means that you're putting those emotions to the side and you're making more logical decisions. You're actually taking action. So that means because you know where you're going, you're starting to vet people um, more carefully. You're starting to vet energies more carefully. So like I said before, I see somebody either going into business with somebody or like a, a, a professional, like a um, professional marriage or a but it's some type of, of an agreement or a romantic marriage. I see you really taking the time to ask more questions, not just getting excited because people want to, you know, want to be in your presence. Because remember, you're a very magnetic sign, Capricorn. So just because somebody wants to sign you to a contract or go into business with you, I see you asking more questions. I see you doing the work, not just jumping into something and then later on being frustrated because, oh my God, I didn't ask questions. No, you're a lot more grounded and rooted. So when we get closer and closer to the full moon, remember lunar, right? Lunar means moon, but we're moving towards a lunar eclipse. There's, there's lunar, luna and lunatic. That's why you have some people just don't know what to do with their, 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 um, their intuition around that time. So I want you all to stay focused, like really, really stay focused and protect your energy. Here we have the nine of swords, right? So during this time, again, this is also what you're leaving behind. The energy of people who have hurt you deeply. What I'm seeing, what I'm feeling here, looking at your cards, and thank you, Spirit, for sharing this, dropping this into me, is that somebody may be going back through their past life. Like something may have been like making you extra sad, and you may not even realize what it is. Like going back through your past life of having to leave certain people behind, people that you've allowed to get really close to you, maybe like family members or friends or whatever the case may be. And because of your past pains, that 
really put you on this journey of being like the queen of swords, somebody who is more meticulous, someone who is vetting all energy, someone who is no nonsense, your yeses are yes, your noes are noes, that kind of thing. So I see you moving into some kind of contractual agreement, Capricorn, and I see you putting in that work because you are rooted and grounded and you care about protecting number four, right? Your earth, right? Your earth, your space, right? Making sure there's clarity of thought. There's not a lot of movement, a lot of activity going on around you. I love it. Let's see what else we have here. My state of mind sets the physical agenda in trillions of my cells. That's right. Your body needs you to master how awareness works. That is right. Let's see what else we have here, Capricorns. I love it, love it, love it. So, yes, some clear messages are coming through that, like I said, I mean, so many different scenarios are coming through when I look at this. That's why it's a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, let me know. Like I said, my information is down below. Of course, there's never any pressure to get a personal reading because hopefully you're getting what you need from this. And if not, please, I, I would encourage you to go watch some of the other videos that's in your birth chart as well because you may not get some questions answered here. Some of it may, but then it may come through in another reading, in another part of your birth chart. So, yes, then we have your dreams need a practical plan, right? So get grounded, get real grounded and rooted. And I mean, like a bull, don't like, because this is bull energy right here too. Be pretty fixated. And this is attached to Taurus. It's just like this is attached to Taurus. You may have Taurus in your chart, but I want you all to be pretty fixated on Making a decision that if you're going to go into business with someone, uh, go into some kind of contractual agreement, whether it's in marriage or whether a uh, romantic marriage or a business marriage, that you dot all your I's and cross all your T's. And I mean, vet every little thing, because on the back end of that, you don't want to be, you don't want to feel like you were taken advantage of. Okay. Somebody should be learning some lessons as you're going through these cycles as it is. Yes. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here before we close out your reading. Yes. Capricorn. Happy Friday. Like I said, happy Friday the 13th, which reduces to the number four. We are still in Mercury retrograde until June 2nd. So Mercury retrograde just means that again, that you want to slow down and take some time to ask, ask out of your mouth, say to spirit, this is why you're getting your rest. This is why I want you all to really have clarity of thought. Um, personally, when, when we're moving towards full moon, I make sure that I get extra rest. I really do. I shut things down sooner. I have my quiet time so that I can really, really reflect during this Mercury retrograde. I have been speaking out things into existence and I'm not really amazed at what God is doing because I know how this works, but I really want you all to start speaking some things into existence, start saying out of your mouth what it is you want, right? If it's healing, do it. I'm saying somebody create art. This is attached to your money. So art can mean that you're a chef. It can mean that you're a musician. It can mean that you're a songwriter, a singer, a poet, whatever. You can create art even if you're re reading cards, being very, using your artistic talents, but again, I see a lot of, I see a lot of um, creativity here in your reading. So somebody is going to be real creative moving forward in this journey that I see for you. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. I'm so excited for somebody. Listen, this is what I see for you all. So continue staying focused, continue getting your rest, speaking things into existence as Mercury being in retrograde. Um, know that if there's any mix up in communication during Mercury retrograde, you don't have to be the one on the confusing end. You can always speak up and ask the question, or at least go to somebody else who has the answer to your question. That is what I have for you. Continue having a great Friday. Bye.